Welcome to the tutorial, Annotating Participants' Behavior with the SMI Eye Tracking Glasses. An annotation marks a specific moment of your experiment for detailed scientific analysis. With the annotation tools in iView ETG, you can set annotations when designing the experiment, while the experiment is running on the eye tracking glasses, also called the ETG, or during post-experiment analysis. In this tutorial, we'll take a closer look at annotating participants' behavior during the experiment with the ETG. More specifically, you'll learn, in the design phase, how to use the annotations editor to predefine annotations. You'll also see how, while recording, you can set the predefined annotations and create a new annotation. And finally, I'll show you how to analyze your annotations in Begaze. We'll start in iView ETG, the software for the system. As you can see, I have an experiment previously defined and it's unlocked. Let's say I want to set up annotations for my experiment. I'll open the annotations dialog by clicking Change in the annotations section. Use the annotation dialog to create anticipated annotations that you can trigger during the experiment as needed. I'll click into the Add New Definition area to begin. An ID and default color, which will be applied during analysis in Begaze, are automatically assigned. First, I'll enter a name to identify the annotation. Give a descriptive name for more efficient analysis. I can also enter a fuller description if I like. And then, I choose the type of annotation. There are two main types of annotation, instant and interval. Instant annotations mark instantaneous events, such as the participant sneezing, while interval annotations mark longer-lasting occurrences, like our first annotation, Looks at Instrument Panel. In this tutorial, we'll be using Manual On-Off for this first annotation. Manual On-Off is used to toggle an annotation and set an interval. Choose once to begin the interval, and again to end it. Choosing this type sets the duration to Manual On-Off as well. Optionally, you can add tags to your annotations. I'll skip that for this annotation. Now let's add another. Again, I click in the Add New Definition field. A new ID and color are created. Let me switch the color to red, and then enter a name. Press this button. I'll add the same description, and choose the Instant type. Again, no need to add tags for this annotation. Another useful annotation type is Until Same Tag. This type is often used to delineate two or more sequential tasks. To illustrate this, I'll define two annotations. First, task one. This would be invoked when the participant begins work on the first task. We'll choose until same tag as the type, which sets the duration to same tag. Now, I'll create a new tag, performance. Let's add that to my stimulus. Another annotation, task two. Again, I'll choose the until same tag type and from the tag list, select Performance. Predefining annotations like this allows the participant to perform tasks in any order and be independently annotated. One final annotation. If the two tasks don't follow directly one after the other, you'll need to stop the annotation in process. So, I'll add a Stop Annotation and make it an Instant type. And to make sure that it toggles either of the two tasks annotations, I'll give it a Performance tag as well. I'll click OK to store my annotations and proceed. Now that I have a couple of annotations defined, I'm ready to save and run my experiment. In the experiment phase, you can apply predefined definitions or insert new ones on the fly to handle unexpected circumstances. Make sure you enable the Show Event Log option found under the Experiment settings before you run your experiment. Once you're underway, turn the Event Log switch on. The operator can insert any predefined annotation by pressing 0, and then choosing the desired annotation from the overlay that appears. I'll use my arrow keys to choose Looks at Instrument Panel and press Enter. 
Because this is a manual on-off type, with the same annotation selected, I'll press Enter again and toggle the Looks at Instrument panel annotation off. Next, the participant starts one of a series of tasks. In this case, Task 1. So I'll choose that entry. You'll recall that this is a until same tag type of annotation, so it will run until I choose either task 1, task 2, or stop, all of which have the same tag. I'll choose stop. Now let's insert a previously undefined annotation. Say when the participant is distracted. Just enter a unique name, like distracted, into the search field. Press Enter, and a new annotation is defined and added right away, as you can see by the message added to the event log. The annotation start time is noted the instant you press 0. You can only create instant, not interval, annotations on the fly. Once annotations are recorded during an experiment, they can be incorporated into your analysis of the data in BGaze. Annotations are available through all data views except line graph. For an example, let's take a look at annotations in ScanPath. Annotations are noted in the timeline. With your timeline cursor at the beginning, you can go to the first annotation by pressing Shift right arrow. The first annotation is an interval type, Task 1. Notice when I select the annotation, the interval is highlighted on the timeline. Now press the same keyboard combination, Shift right arrow again to go to the next annotation marker. This is the instant annotation, stop. The instant annotation we added on the fly, distracted, is next. Press shift left arrow to jump to the previous annotation marker. Specific annotation data is displayed in the event statistics view by selecting the annotation details option. As you can see, the first annotation listed, Task 1, has different start and end times, since it is an interval type annotation. However, the second annotation, Stop, is an instant type annotation, and the start and end times are the same. Annotations can be edited in BGaze if you need to adjust the timing, wording, or other properties. We'll show you how in another tutorial. In this tutorial, you learned how to mark participants' behavior with the SMI Annotation Tool, working with annotations predefined in iViewETG, as well as created on the fly during the experiment itself with the SMI eye tracking glasses. Finally, you saw an example of how data from annotations can be accessed in BGaze. Annotations in iViewETG and BGaze provide a robust solution for marking and analyzing participants' behavior during eye-tracking experiments in any location with SMI eye-tracking glasses.